Look at the picture carefully. This one has simple equations and asks you to solve the puzzle based on the values assigned to the different fruit. It could possibly have an easy answer except the fruit or their values make it a little harder. Take a look, spend some time and have your answer ready then continue watching the video for the correct answer. Let me explain the solution now. First I will explain the common mistake done while solving this problem. The answer is on the surface not terribly difficult to find. In the first equation 3 apples equals 30 so 1 apple equals 10. In the second equation 10 plus 2 bananas which is equal to 18 so 2 bananas equals 8 and 1 banana equals 4. In the third equation 4 minus 1 coconut equals 2 so 1 coconut equals 2. Therefore final answer after substituting the value of apple, banana and coconut is 1 coconut plus 1 apple plus 1 banana which is equal to 2 plus 10 plus 4 equals 16. Although this is the answer everyone seems to be giving, it's actually not correct. Notice that each bunch of bananas has 4 bananas. Look very closely. Except the one in the final line which has 3 bananas. Also notice that third line has one coconut while the last line has only half of a coconut. So the correct explanation is, so according to the first equation, apple plus apple plus apple equals 30. We can thus assume each apple's value is 10. In the second equation, apple plus bananas plus bananas equals 18. Here we can assume each set of bananas equals to 4. So 10 plus 4 plus 4 equals 18 and each banana equals 1 since there are 4 bananas in each bunch of bananas. In the third equation bananas minus coconuts equals 2. So the value of the coconut is 2 making it 4 minus 2 equals 2. Since there are 4 bananas each individually could be equal to 1. The same logic can be used for the two alls of the coconuts. So the last equation shows one half of the coconut and three bananas. So the final equation can be written as half coconut plus one apple plus three bananas equals one plus ten plus three which is equal to fourteen. So the answer to the final equation is fourteen. This is a really nice problem since it gives you a good reminder to pay attention to details. The puzzle has been around for a while. What do you think is the right answer? Tell us in the comment section. That's all for this video. Let me know for any questions. I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.